George Boole was born in Lincolnshire, England on the 2nd of November, 1815. He attended primary school but did not go to secondary school or university. There are two theories as to how George Boole learned Latin. The first being that a bookseller, William Brooke, taught him. And the second is that he may have learned it at Thomas Brainbridge, though he was self-taught in modern languages. At only the age of 16, Boole took up a junior teaching position in Doncaster at Hames School and became the main income for his parents and his three younger siblings. Boole was appointed as the first professor of mathematics at Queen's College in 1849. George Boole published his first paper, which was called Researches in Theory of Analytical Transformations, with a special application of the reduction of the general equation of the second order, in February 1840. For the next seven years, Boole went on to write more papers on mathematics, and then, in 1847, George Boole published his first book, The Mathematical Analysis of Logic. It took Boole another seven years to publish his next book, The Investigation of the Laws of Thought, which he published in 1854. Boole only took another five years to write his third book, A Treatise on Differential Equations, in 1859, which led on to his last book, A Treatise on the Calculus of Finite Differences, in 1860. The main reason Boole is still a known figure is because Boolean algebra, which he formulated, is used in computers nowadays. Boole met his future wife, Mary Everest, whose uncle named Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, in 1850 at Queen's College, now known as University College Cork, or UCC, in Ireland. Boole met her while she was visiting her uncle, John Ryle, who was a professor of Greek at Queen's College. Boole started to teach Mary in mathematics, and soon a relationship blossomed. George Boole and Mary Everest married in 1855, even with the age difference of 17 years. Together they had five daughters, but no sons. George Boole died on the 8th of December 1864 in Ballin Temple, Ireland. The events that led up to his death is as follows. One day, in 1864, Boole walked two miles in the lashing rain and then lectured without changing his soaked clothes. He became ill with a severe cold and high fever, otherwise known as pneumonia. His wife, believing that remedies should resemble their cause, which might be true with snake poison, but wasn't in this case, put her husband to bed, and as it was water that brought on his sickness, she continued to pour buckets of water over him. On the 8th of December, 1864, Boole's condition worsened and he died of pleural effusion, which is a build-up of fluid in a cavity near the lungs, which eventually restricts lung movement and which, when mixed with pneumonia, led to George Boole's death. Reading up on this, it does seem odd that Boole's wife got away with murder scot-free, but facts are often muddled, so we will never know. George Boole's gravestone is located in Cork, Ireland. There is a crater on the moon named after George Boole called the Boole Crater. As 2015 was the 200th anniversary of George Boole's birth, University College Cork, or UCC, decided to do a project called the George Boole 200 Project, which features events that inform students on Boole's legacy. Adesso si vivrò con te.